Well, I guess I knew it would happen eventually. I just didn't think that it would happen so soon. Deborah Gray has announced she is retiring from federal politics. The Iron Lady of the conservative movement will not be sitting in the House of Commons any longer. I'm in Edmonton because, quite frankly, I'm not prepared to see her slip away from the national spotlight or slip away from me. Deb. You're late. I was nervous. You ought to be. Let's go. Ever since she left me, I should feel all alone. A little misunderstanding. I can't get her on the telephone. Hanging on down the main street. Living in a different world. So now this is Anne McClellan's ride. This is Rand McClellan's ride at West Edmonton Mall. The deputy prime minister, a liberal in a sea of conservatives. Now, she didn't do that well out here in 93. She won by 11 votes. That's, well, that's not too bad. Well, you know, if you're running for grade six class president, that would be considered a landslide. So, Deb, when I read that you were retiring, I, I said, say it isn't so, Deb. Why would you retire? I've had 15 years in Parliament. And Has it's it been, been that it's long? It's been 15 years. You were the very first member of the Reform Party to ever sit in the House of Commons. It's pretty special. Stephen Harper was your legislative assistant. He was there one was of the... Deb up in Ottawa, and he was your legislative assistant. Hired him. Making coffee and stuff like that? Oh, he makes good coffee. Does he? What kind of boss were you? You want a slap and tickle boss. No, not a slap and tickle you boss. Well, I'll tell you this, I did get my lipstick on straighter than he did, so there you are. How did you find the last couple of years having to deal with Stockwell? Well, we had some, was, we had some rough times. That was a pretty rough yeah. relationship. It was, uh, it was a very You made up time. now? Uh, sure. Right. He's our foreign affairs critic. He's running again. Right. And uh, I wish them all well. <laughs> <laughs> Over and out. See you around. Good luck You're to you. You're not very good at that. <laughs> what are you going to do about the beef thing? How bad is the beef oh, thing for Alberta? It's bad. And I want to welcome you all to the Alberta Beef Cow Chow Challenge. Yeah! Woo! think of Paul Martin, Deb? It's pleasant, speaks both official language as well, and uh, I think he knew exactly what was going on in the scandal. And if he didn't know, then shame on him, because he ought to know. Then are you saying when he says he had no idea, are you saying that he was lying? I think his nose might be growing. Yes, I do. We're gonna miss you, Deb. Oh, See, you'd Deb. say that. You come back and go on the carousel with me. Sure, but we're gonna miss you. Here we go. Edmonton is fun. It is fun. <laughs> You're breaking the rules. <laughs> what else is new? Oh, I had no idea what this was. I have. <laughs> 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 I can't the date, Deb. Anytime, Rick. Come back to Alberta sometime. We have beef here. You bet.